let's create some paint materials. So let's look at the examples here. First of all, here is a black glossy painted cabinet. You can see a bit of the wood grain through it. You can see that it's shiny and pretty reflective. So the first thing we've got to do is determine the diffuse color of this material. Here it is black. So let's create a new VRA material and set the diffuse color as black. Okay. Next. So the reflect color should be pretty even. Uh, it is not affected by the wood grain at all and, and is simply gray. Let's try something like this. Uh, enable Fresnel and look at it in a bigger size. Okay. So next we will reduce the glossiness to make the reflections a bit blurrier. Too much. 0 0.95. Okay. Looks fine. Let's increase the Fresnel IOR. Something like this. And the reflections look a bit too strong now, so let's reduce them a bit. Perfect. Let's make a quick test render. So this is a good base for a paint material. One thing we got to do is create the bump. So let's cancel this test rendering and assign a bump map. Since the paint material is used on wood or other surfaces, we will use one of the dirt maps here. Let's pick something like, like this one. Show in viewport. Since this model uses real world map size, we will enable use real world scale and increase the size like this. Okay, and reduce the bump value to two. So the effect is very slight, maybe 5. Ok, looking better. The bump is a bit too strong for this particular model. Let's get it back to 2. Still a bit too rough. Let's make it one. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, simple black glossy paint. So another thing we might want to do uh, mix the bump map with some noise. Just to make it a bit more uneven. Cancel, go into the bump slot and change the bitmap to mix. Keep the bitmap as submap and set up a noise map in the second slot. Let's increase the size to 150 and mix it with the bitmap at 50%. Since we mixed it, we can increase the bump amount. I think the noise maybe should be a bit smaller. 80. Mm. 
Let's try another weather. So this is pretty good. Maybe the reflections are a bit too strong. Um, let's make them a bit weaker by reducing the reflect color brightness. Let's try 50. Let's set bump back to 2. So that's a pretty basic paint material here. You can change the color by simply changing the diffuse color. Let's try another color now. Let's rename this to paint black. And let's make a blue paint variation of this material. For lighter colors you might want to increase the reflect brightness as well. So for the black paint the reflections don't need to be so strong, but the lighter the color gets the more you need to increase the reflectivity to see the same effect. that's a blue glossy paint material. You can see the reflections are much harder to see here than in the black example. That is because the diffuse color is lighter and it makes the reflections harder to see. So that's a basic glossy paint material here. Here's an example of a matte material. Well, this is not too matte. Okay, let's look at this one. So it's painted, but the reflections are very weak and are very, very blurry. So let's try to make material with a more blurred reflection layer. Let's try 0.6 as reflection glossiness. So this gives, it gives us a more matte paint look. If you want to simulate an antique look, like this example, well this is an extreme example with very very big uh, wear on the surface. We can again use the Vray dirt map like, like with the wood materials. So to get something like this, we might try we might try changing our diffuse map. I'm gonna make another copy of this material here. And let's change the diffuse map a bit. So copy the diffuse color. And set up a V-Ray dirt map in the diffuse slot. Paste your color in the unoccluded slot. Okay, so let's see how it looks. So now the deep parts are darker. You can notice here. You can see the profiles better. It's a slight antique effect. You can layer these V-Ray dirt maps uh, to make the effect stronger just like with the wood material. Now let's try to make the dirty parts a bit more random, more like this here. Let's cancel the render, go back to our material and back into the V-Ray dirt map slot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a radius map. Select bitmap and pick one of the dirt maps here. 
for example, on this one. See how it looks on the model. Fix the coordinates. Much. Maybe let's set it at hundred. Okay. Let's try it out. So the effect is not too strong. Uh, let's increase the radius. Thirty. So it's a bit hard to see the final result right now, so let's change the occluded color to something bright. Let's try bright yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's increase the radius a bit more. For example, 60. Alright. So the effect is pretty nice. Let's increase it even more. Change it back to black. And increase the subdues to, let's say, 16. Now we're going to use the same trick we did with the wood material. Just copy the V-Ray dirt map from the diffuse slot, go deeper and paste into the unoccluded color slot. Go deeper again and paste again. So now we should have at least three times stronger effect. As you can see now, uh, the paint is very dirty. Something like this. Well, it's not as black, but we can make it darker by pasting it deeper again again, making more layers of the V-Ray dirt map. But that's the basic trick to getting a dirty paint material. So that's a nice example of old dirty paint. You can simulate the worn edges just like we did with the wood material. Just by adding another another layer of V-Ray dirt. So copy this diffuse map clear it and create another v dirt map here paste in the unoccluded color slot invert normals reduce the radius to 2 Change the occluded color to something brown, like natural wood would look like. For example, something like this. And let's see how it looks. Okay, the effect is a bit too strong. Let's reduce it a bit, reduce the radius to 1, and let's set up a simple bitmap as our radius again. Let's use this one here. Preview in viewport, fix the size, and re-render. So that's a pretty complex old paint material. Very nice for antique furniture or something like that. If you wish to change the diffuse color, simply go to the last layer of Vira dirt in the diffuse slot and change the unoccluded color. As simple as that. Okay, and here you go. This is our render. So that's how you can make some nice paint materials from clean to dirty, from glossy to matte.